Hey guys, so there's been a lot of talk about haptic buzz recently and um, I'm not sure if we really want it or not. That's a feature that is super easy to add. I've already done that like two years ago, but because I don't know much about motors, when they make noise, I don't like it. It scares me and I always think that I'm breaking something. But if we want this feature, it's super easy to add. So um, I did hear one good argument for it. Nico was saying, oh, I don't want to add a, a beeper to all my boards so I can just add that feature. And so I was like, all right, that is legit. I, I buy it. So if we want to have it, here it is. Now we can also change the tone and the uh, melody and do all kinds of fancy stuff, but I'm not doing it. If someone if someone wants to play around with it, feel free. But um, I just basically did the simplest way possible, and it seems that it gets already more fancy than what Future Motion did. But uh, if we want to play songs, we could do it. But yeah, that's not really my interest. Now, obviously, because this is VESC, it has to be tunable for the different motors and setups and so on. And uh, people like to customize their stuff. So uh, here's what it sounds like on a pint. All right, now, so how does it work? It's basically really simple. And I quick background here is your motor current. If you accelerate, you have positive currents. If you brake, you have negative currents. And to keep you balanced, the current also goes up and down. Now, to produce a sound, you need something in the audible range. So here, for example, so now we have a waveform that um, basically, if this goes up and down 400 times a second, that would be a 400 hertz frequency. And then you have the amplitude, that's essentially how much current we're using. That means how loud it will be. So this will be audible in the motor as a 400 hertz sound. And to not impact the ride behavior, you basically just overlay these two graphs. And here it ends up looking something like this. And uh, that's really it. Now. Because I'm just doing it in the float package, I'm not changing the firmware. We are limited to uh, frequencies that are basically multiples or dividers of the base frequency. So 800 hertz, we can do a 400 hertz frequency, we can do 200 and so on. Um, if you want any other frequencies, then you'd have to do it in the firmware, in the motor uh, control. And there you could pretty much produce any frequency you want. But hey, that's a lot more effort. And why would we do it? So with 400 hertz and 200 hertz, we got plenty of uh, room to play with. So what comes next? Basically, I'll make a beta version available. And that will use booster settings to configure it. I'll have it all on pv.dev. We'll need some testers that uh, volunteer to try it all out at 20 plus miles an hour. And then eventually it should be in float package 1.4. So yeah, that is it. And um, if you guys have any questions, let me know. You know how to contact me. But um, yeah, it should be pretty straightforward.